Hello and welcome back to the Stalker franchise, this time for Stalker Call of Pripyat. And we're running a few mods for this one. We're running something called Atmosphere 3, which is a massive overhaul that you can use that really, like, it makes the weather more dynamic. We're also running something called Arsenal Overhaul, which I've never, ever used before. But what it's going to do is it's going to kind of rework and change how the guns are. It's not going to be just a skin overhaul like the one in Call of, or, uh, what was it, Shadow of Chernobyl. It's going to be a complete overhaul of the guns, and I'm actually really looking forward to it, because that was kind of one of the things that I felt like this game was weak on. But, instead of rambling, let's dive right in. Let's go see how Stalker Call of Pripyat goes. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is my favorite Stalker game in the whole series. Yeah, it, it's the best balance, even just vanilla with like nothing but graphic mods and stuff, even then it's the best balance of size and gameplay and everything else. Like this is the culmination of everything they've done. For Stalker 2, if they're going to take any Stalker game as inspiration, I want them to take this one. This is the one that I want them to make work. This is the one that I want them to mod it to like use as a basis for a new Stalker game. And I'm... Damn looking forward to that too. I think that's supposed to come out originally later this year, actually, wasn't it? Okay, so. Yeah, the game saved and already this is different. Okay. Huh, alright. So, this is very, very different. So I think <clears throat> I'm not sure if there normally is a cutscene in the start, but we are. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> okay, anyway, we are actually playing as an individual named Major Degtyarev. He is a Ukrainian security service, basically like a combination FBI slash CIA guy. And he's an operative that was sent into the zone in order to try to figure out what happened to a group of helicopters that were sent in to go do something in the center of the zone. I don't remember exactly what. But that is what these are. That's what all of these yellow markers are. There's all of those. There's actually a whole sec- I-, I wow. Okay. Uh, this area looks different. Anyway, yeah, there's a whole second map, and then there's all of Pripyat that we can go to. So I think, what is this called? I think this is called Zayton. I think this is called Jupiter. And this is Pripyat. Yeah, alright. So it looks like- Looks like this mod actually changes a lot more than I realized. And I am damn looking forward to it. And also, this game has one of my favorite fucking things in the whole series. You can have two primary weapons on you. You don't have to have a pistol. You can have two assault rifles, a shotgun and assault rifle, sniper rifle, grenade launcher. You can have whatever the goddamn hell you want. Oh, this is gonna be fucking glorious. Okay. So, first things first, I actually want to go to here. I want to go to the Skidovsk. That is going to be our first destination because that's gonna have in there some friendly people that's gonna have a first job for us boy they like holy shit this really overhauled all right yeah if I notice that these uh I think it's because this is kind of an older engine they did add in a lot of graphical stuff so I'm noticing like a hair of stuttering but it is still at 60 FPS do me a favor let me know if that's too annoying for you guys at all but all right so you might notice in the top left, you see there was a little red dot there. And there was one on the minimap. That's a zombie. You might remember the zombies from the previous two Stalker games. And by the way, if you guys are, uh... If you guys are watching this and you haven't seen the previous two Stalker games, highly, highly recommend you go check them out first. Ah, shit. <clears throat> Such is life in the zone. Wow, okay, they made enemies tougher, too. Hmm. Good to know, but it looks like that zombie has a new gun. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. I think I remember reading that the mod added in... I want to say over a hundred new weapons and, like, new pieces of gear? Something kind of... Yeah, something kind of crazy like that. Holy shit, alright, we are not fucking around. Maybe I shouldn't go up here yet. I wanted to go up here for two reasons. One, I wanted to pick up some gear and just kind of see what was there. But uh, two, because there's actually an item we're going to need later up there. Yeah, here at the sawmill. But alright, yeah, let, let's just get going. 
I'm not gonna sit here and get myself fucking murdered left, right, and center for 10 minutes at the start of the series. Alright. Now, this game also has another thing about it that makes it, like, absolutely dear to my goddamn bitter heart. And it's how it does stashes. So in this game here, by default, all of the stashes can actually be raided early, if I recall right. Stashes, for the most part, aren't... They're not cases that you have to have some asshole tell you about or anything like that. You don't have to mod it out. Stashes are just literal stockpiles of supplies. They might be in a crate, they might not be, it doesn't really matter. But if you find them, you can go ahead and if you remember them, you can actually just steal the stuff that's in them. So for example, I think up here... I want to follow this along. I think as we kind of progress along up here... Is it right here? Ah, uh, shit, hang on. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember if it's... I think it might be a little bit further up ahead. There is a... One of these little side panels here, the little support struts, they actually have a bunch of medical stuff on them. They have, like, medicine, they have vodka... Stuff like that. Looks like... The mod may have gotten rid of it, though. Alright, what about down here? There might be one down here as well. Yeah, here we go. So yes, alright, all of this stuff is just... Here. It's just around. Man, I am so looking forward to this. This is really gonna be fun. Probably should walk around to something better than my shitty pistol, too. I think in the main game, you actually start off with a... I think you start off with an assault rifle. You start off with, like, one of those short AKs. Yeah, the, uh, AKMSU-74, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, it's... You start off with that, and you actually start off fairly well equipped because you're a government agent. Listen up. How they haul. Sultan wants to see you. Okay, so yeah, that dude over there is called Sultan. He's an asshole. And there's a bunch of people around here. So yeah, kind of like in the rest of the game, he's gonna yoink your vodka. Let's go look for jobs first, before we go talk to the dude. Do I want to get paid? Okay, what's the job? Hid some loot in this old car, but then an earthquake hit and the car fell underground. I checked it out and the car seems to be within reach, but there's mutants there. Snorks. Believe it or not, I'm not scared of controllers, but the damn snorks are too creepy and disgusting even for me. If you get a hold of the container, the security lock will split the loot. Alright. Yeah, sure. Okay. Neither of these guys care. What's your... Hey, stalker. How are you? Hey, here's Pilot. Yeah, alright, so he can actually... Uh, yeah, that dude's name is Pilot, and he's actually somebody we need to do. Because you can't really travel between the zones on your own. You have to have him guide you. <laughs> Which does kind of suck, but there's some stuff we can do to make our lives easier there. Hey, buddy, what's your name? How looks about a cash and help out our camp? Okay. Several stalkers have gone missing. No one has heard anything from them, but then the other day they found a body. No signs of violence, but bled completely dry. Tremor searched the body, could give you more details, but it has to be bloodsuckers. I talked to Danilo the Hunter and he went off to search for their lair. Haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. Okay, what do I need to do? Find the lair and track down Danilia. The job isn't pretty, but will make it worth your while. Alright, we got two places to go check. So that's going to be another kind of early game mission here, and that one's going to be really valuable to do. So let's... You know what? Let's go Welcome see. Welcome aboard our swamp icebreaker. <laughs> All right, this is Beard. Beard is sort of like uh, Sidorovich in the first game. You knew here. That's all right. You'll settle in soon enough. The zone is a tough teacher. I'm Beard, the local bartender. You have any questions? Come to me. Okay. I need a job. Some stalkers saw some weird things at the dread station. Uh, why don't you go check it out? All right, here we go. Cool. So let's go see. Yeah, that's going to be sort of like the number one mission. If we do that, he's going to trust us. Yeah, he'll trust us more. I don't really know. What is the point of the multi-tool? Oh, okay, so that... Oh, we actually have to use a tool to attach optics and stuff. No. Yeah, that's right. We can actually sleep in here instead. Howdy. Hey there, Cardin. A wise trade is my friend. Gotta keep your gun in mint condition. If you have a bottle or two, I could make it upgrade galore in here. Want a parachute sewn to your shotgun? I could do that. Okay, do you have any work? I need a few tools, but I have no time to look for them. Hardware's like that takes up all your time. If you can bring me a few useful tools, I'll show you what it's all about. Yeah, so right now, I actually can't... 
Well, in the default game, at least, he can't really do a lot of upgrades. You see, it says he use tools for basic work, find work. And in his case, he actually needs vodka in order to upgrade things. In this case, I don't, you just don't even have enough money for it. So yeah, it looks like the mod does give us some options. You know, if I was, if my weight capacity was pretty bad, I'd go ahead and mess with that, but... You know, it looks like we're doing good there. What All are right. you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If this not, dude is owl. Take a hike. He's a fucking prick. Uh, do you have a job for me? Information from a mercenary camp. Some kind of mercenaries are appearing in the processing station of dying to know what they're cooking. Sneak into the camp and dig up whatever information you have about their plans. Documents, PDAs, anything you can find. Nothing but kid stuff if you keep it quiet. Okay, so that mission is gonna fucking suck. That mission is all the way down here. And that mission involves going up against like 40 armed mercenaries. Can't find anything oh, no, out about Magpie. I've asked everywhere, but it's useless. Nobody knows the thing. From radiation like he's a poltergeist or something. That son of a bitch is going to regret running away. Hmm. All right. So hey, you don't hey buddy. The doc said you'll be up in your feet in a couple of days. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Hey, stalker, come here. I got a question for you. Okay, who are you? You're Gonta. Have I seen this magpie guy? Do I know him? If you come across the scumbag, put a bullet in his head or tell me where he can be found and make it worth your while. Okay, why? So he comes up to me once and says he can't get his loot up because of a controller. My crew was one man short right then, and our Pathfinder Danilo went off the track bloodsuckers to their lair. So we decided to help Magpie get his loot and took him hunting. All you had to do was keep a lookout for the Chimera. What happened next was the bastard ran away, taking his loot and pocketing ours too. It was a hell of a surprise when the Chimera finally showed up. Garbata for one had no time to react. Who would? Instead of hunting our game, I ended up defending my crew. In the end, I wounded the Chimera, but managed to rip Crab a good one and move on, and made off. We lost a full week of prep. Okay, so I will definitely tell you about Magpie, because Magpie's a fucking asshole. And if we go up here... That dude is basically just a vendor. You actually might know him, though. Uh, he's from Clear Sky. Look at his outfit. And look at his name. I'm Nimble. People come to me for unique weapons. Rare models, prototypes, unique shooters, stuff like that, and elite equipment. I check every item personally, so quality is guaranteed. So he actually sells a lot- oh my god, I'm just, I just kind of was looking over and I realized how many more guns there are. Most of these guns aren't in here, like this has- the guns that you guys saw in Shadow of Chernobyl are pretty much the only guns that you guys have in this one. Yeah, actually I guess the guns in Call of Pripyat also. But yeah, this is a- holy shit, that is a lot of new stuff. My god, that's gonna be fucking glorious. Alright. Well, first things first, let's head out. Have I said that I'm really excited for this? Like, I knew it was gonna add in some stuff. I didn't know exactly how much it was gonna add in. My god. I know it said like a hundred guns, but I was just expecting a bunch of shitty, like, colored variants of guns. I wasn't expecting an actual hundred gun list. Holy Christ, I am excited as hell. Might be my new favorite mod. All right. Well, actually, I guess second favorite. Misery is still my favorite Call of Pripyat mod. Which maybe someday we'll see played here on the channel, but... Alright. So here we go. This is... This is the ship that they were talking about, and they talked about a weird glow. You can kind of see it up there. That wheelhouse looks like it's a little bit brighter than it should be. So, we gotta be very, very careful here. This place is infested with radiation. And I'm gonna need to keep my eyes open. Because if I'm not careful, I'm gonna get irradiated. And I'll start dying here. Okay. So let me check something. Yeah, there we go. This strange artifact. What is this? This is the... Uh, altered wheel. Once the dread station wheel, now half, co now half converted into a strange artifact. No properties are notable, but it's just glowing and a little radioactive. Now luckily, like the others, this one has radiation only affecting you if, uh... This has radiation that only affects you, I think, if it's equipped. And right down there is actually your slot, so right now I can't actually carry any more of these. But... Hey buddy. Brother, listen, there's this artifact that has healing powers. I need it real bad. A buddy of mine is about to buy the farm from the weird sickness. Our medicine can't do crap. I tried to grab the artifact, but stumbled into a gas anomaly. I haven't come across it, have I? 
Uh, no, I haven't seen Just it. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. All right, so yeah, you might notice back there there was something. Uh, these guys were gonna rob me, and if I didn't give them, if I didn't give them what they wanted, they were going to kill me, basically. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, nope, stop that. Fuck. Yeah, far as I'm concerned, fuck those dudes. Okay. Ah, shit. Hold on, I need to... Yeah, I'm irradiated as hell. Okay, I think that guy had a... Ah, sh shit. Alright, I think I... Give me the artifact retard. Oh, I forgot about that, that's funny. Yeah, uh, full disclosure again, I think these... I think these mods are not exactly what you would term politically correct most of the time. I personally couldn't give less of a shit, but if you are one of the people that is somewhat sensitive to that, you're going to have a rough time here. Alright, but there we go. I just got my hands on a few pieces... Oh, hello. The fuck? Why was there just random... Why was there just random Makarov ammo around? Hmm. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, so yeah, if you do try to walk away, by the way, they do just shoot you. So those guys totally deserve to die. Ah, there we go, and yeah, I can see my stamina starting to go down, so... Oh, well, there's an AKMS, that would be damn useful to have. I'm not really concerned about a lot of- ooh, hello. You know what, I might see about fixing up that shotgun, though. Yeah, I might see about fixing that up. Cause, you know, this pistol's fine. It's not great, but you could do a hell of a lot worse in this series than... Yeah, you could do a hell of a lot worse than the Makarov, I assume. Well, actually, could you in this game? I, I don't I don't know about this, considering that this is a modded version, but... Yeah, I guess... Actually, I guess in the normal game you couldn't. That is literally the basic bitch pistol. Listen up. All right. Sultan wants to see you. Yeah, the sure. What? Himself. Okay, Sultan, you fucking asshole. What's your deal? I'm Sultan. Everything that goes down here is under my control or will be soon. If you want to live a good life, you are a guy to work for me. If you don't, you live the shitty life. Okay, what kind of job do you have? The money-making kind. Why am I asking you? You're the new guy with no connections, but if you play your cards right, you can quickly gain a respect. Know what I'm thinking? Ah, uh, sure. Alright, we have a mind to shake down a few beard stalkers. A real cinch. Late at night, you and the guys come up to Stravchenko. And before these tourists figure out what's going on, I'll take them for a ride. We get the dough, you get the props. Cuts from a drift? Alright, see Knuckles, and he'll give you the details. So I talked to him, we Can actually I get a chance sometime. to go betray the stalkers. But my standing rule is fuck bandits, Welcome so... Up. Here's the artifact. There we go, I got 3,000 of it, and I got a stash coordinates, and... Someone's planning out to stick up the stalkers. We have bandits multiplying like rabbits, and now we're fighting amongst ourselves? I have an offer to attack the camp near Subchenko. It would be nice if you took up their offer. You see what I'm getting at? That way I can tip my boys off so they have a warm welcome. Alright, I agree, so... Ah, God damn it. So this is the one thing that fucking sucks about this. For some goddamn reason, you can't sell damaged guns to the traders, and it's one of the most frustrating well, things about this game. Yeah. So this is actually... Uh, this might be the gun that I want to get my hands on. I, I'd like to get my hands on like a 7.62 AK. But yeah, sadly, you can't fucking sell these. You can't sell most of these. Uh, there is a mod that I, I've yet to test out. I'm probably going to actually install it because... It's really, really irritating, especially when you have guns that are like... You know, this one here is good, but I guarantee if it was maybe a quarter pip of damage more, you wouldn't be able to. And that's just... it's really frustrating. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead, let me just, uh... I want to stockpile a bunch of the ammo away. Yeah, we should be alright, so... Oh, and I just noticed too, I'm actually getting hungry. Which, in this game, does affect your stamina. You might have just noticed it right there. So... Let's go look around for something. Instead of... Oh, hey, look. That stash is there. Treasure drink name? Treasure medicine name? Okay. Uh, you know what? I actually hey, have a couple other things that I'd rather do quick. I want to go... Okay, that... I keep on hearing that noise, and that noise sounds a lot like a bloodsucker. And if that is a bloodsucker, that's gonna fucking suck, because they shouldn't be out here at this point. 
Bloodsuckers should not be in the game right now. They, they just shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but no, I actually want to go on down. I want to go check out for the missing stalker. I want to go try to find the guy who is... Or who went missing looking for the lair of the bloodsuckers. Yeah, he's going to be kind of important. And then I think what I'll want to do after that is I'm actually going to probably head... I want to head over here because there's something out there that we want to get our hands on. But man, yeah, this, this looks a lot nicer as it is. Uh, even just the graphical stuff with the mod, even if you don't necessarily care about the extra guns and stuff, this looks amazing compared to what Vanilla Stalker looks like. Alright, so... Well, shit, I just realized something. Where I am right now is actually... It's not a terrible place? But this is not a good place either. Okay, hang on, there's one. Alright. Hang on. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, I tried to remember how I get to some of these artifacts here. Because this game has one of my other favorite fucking things out of any stalker game. And it's it's uh, achievements that are actually worth a damn. Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. Where is it? <gasps> hang on. Hang on. I, can, I know there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, this, this is why I actually don't like this, uh... This is why I don't like this detector. Alright, fuck it. We're getting out of here. Yeah, staying here is just gonna get me killed. So let's do this. That should hopefully... Oh, interesting. They actually made it so... Oh, shit. They made it so food no longer heals you. Well, fuck my life. All right. And vodka... Vodka's actually not that useful either. Fuck, okay. Well, here, what do I have here? This is a stone flower. Gives me side protection, not that useful. But no, you might actually notice. You see how this is the... Uh, this is where the unreachable stash is? Getting to that actually requires we... You know what, fuck it, I'll show you guys. It'll be easier and more interesting that way anyway. God damn, I'm fucking... Okay, there we go. My radiation's gone now. Thank Christ. I was getting kind of worried. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, so to get to that stash, we have to go down here. And this eventually leads to a cave network full of snorks that dumps us out over there. So you can see why I was kind of excited, but the problem is, is that getting in and out of there is an absolute hell of a time. I mean, like, it is genuinely just full of snorks. There is nothing else to be said. That place sucks. Alright. Well, let me go look around here. I want to look for something. Are there any items up here? Any special stuff? I think on the roof of this building... I think on the roof of the building... There might be something handy. Okay, come on, go. Uh... I'm gonna try this once. Yeah, I think right over there, over by that support strut. There might be something useful. Let's see if there is. Is there... Yes, perfect. Here we go. Alright, you guys might recognize this. The sunrise suit. There we go. I actually now have a couple of artifact slots. And you'll notice that pretty much every bit of protection increased. Thank you, God. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. That's dogs. Okay, where are they? Got him. All right. Sorry, Fido. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, we can go ahead and we can... Uh, yeah, that's right. We can actually harvest this stuff. And if I remember... Oh, interesting. Okay, so I could just straight up eat the dog meat. Huh. I know... Uh, there's a mod called... Yeah, Stalker Misery allows you to do that, too. Okay, hang on. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a bloodsucker. I think I found the lair. Get over here, ASAP. Okay. Yeah, this is a... This is where the guy was. That was a dead bloodsucker. Ah, shit. Well, this is gonna suck. 
Little bastards are fucking swarming me. Alright, come here, guys. Yeah, come here, fighter. Let's go. You little bastard. Fuck off. Okay, this is bad. I need to... Yeah, I need to wrap those up. I need more anti-radiation items, though. Shit. Yeah. Uh, but as I was saying, Stalker Misery, I think, also has that, where you can go ahead and you can harvest the bodies of the dogs. You can harvest, like, mutant bodies for parts. I think the trade-off is that if you do that, I think all of the parts are, like, heavily irradiated, though. They're very, very... Like, you can't eat them like you can in here. Or if you do, you, you're basically trading more radiation for the food supply. Okay. I want to get on the top of here. But the problem is, is I don't remember where the heck to go. And getting up here is a miserable fucking experience. Because this fucking tree is basically made of slippery oiled plastic, as far as I can fucking tell. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I think right up near the peak, there is a... Uh... Don't tell me the mod got rid of it. Don't tell me the mod got rid of it. Oh no. Oh no. Hang on. Okay, I'm just, sorry, I'm just... I might be saving a little bit more than usual just because I'm up here. Um, but yeah, if I fall, I'm probably gonna die. Oh shit, hang on. Uh, this is a problem. That noise I just heard, that, like, groaning. Fuck. <gasps> yep, there we go. I just got killed. Um. Shit. That noise I heard, that's a blowout. And with this mod, blowouts can just occur during the day. Every two to four days. Okay, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. See, I could go down there and I could try to move around and get the artifacts, but frankly, I just don't really give a shit. I want to get out of here, though. Attention, stalkers. Yep, an there it is. is Fuck. I repeat, an emission is approaching. Seek cover immediately. <sighs> shit, hang on. Hang on, how, how long do I have? Hang on, where's the... Oh, I hope I can make it. Oh, I hope I can make it. Updated, find shelter. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Where we're going. That's gonna have it. No, now, in the normal game, I think you have, like, a minute or two from the time of start to find shelter, but... Okay. Entered the building. I'm guessing that's their lair, but let's put that theory to the test. Watch the shadows. Oh dear. Okay, so this is Gross. He is going to be. An emission will start any minute now. Find cover if you want to live. Okay. I think I need to head down. There we go. There we go. Now, Gross, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh shit. Hang on, I need to- I need to heal. I need to fucking heal up. I completely whiffed with both of those shells, by the way. Okay, there you are. There we go. So, wrap you up again. Let me see if I... Alright. I gotta wait for that to pass, otherwise this is gonna suck. Yeah, that little thing you just saw there, though... Oh, wait. I just realized something, though. Stalkers that are caught out during a blowout get turned into zombies. I really hope Danila didn't just... get gross, didn't just get turned into a zombie. I'm not sure what he's doing up there, to be honest, but I'm not going upstairs until after... until the game tells me it's clear to. I can't really give you guys a good look, sorry. Don't worry, we'll see a lot of these. Yeah, the uh, blowouts are 
a very, very common threat during the course of these. Okay. So gross, buddy. Tell me you did not just get zombified, because that means that I'm not going to be able to finish a very, very nice little mission that we have here. Also, I really, really goddamn hope that there's some vodka somewhere, because... The fact... The mission is finally over. I hope you're all in one piece. Okay, gross. Hey, buddy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he actually has a different gun entirely, too. Okay. Yeah, come on, let's go. Uh, we, ha we have to wait for him. He's the only one who can kind of progress the story. Which does suck when his AI decides to be stupid. But luckily... Yeah, there we go. Also, I think they did change it so that shotguns are now more effective. Or alternatively, I've never really gone hunting bloodsuckers with a shotgun. Yeah. Oh, and if you are using this as a guide, A, don't do that, because this is going to be different. And B, the bloodsuckers spawn there and in the room that was up there. Oh, goody. Radioactive follow begins. Wonderful. Come look at this. It's probably the only way of getting in the basement. Alright. Sure thing. You would think they'd have a ladder or something, right? Just in case. Um, but yeah, so this game also has... Well, uh, sorry, the... Jumping down mm. is the only way. Shut Follow up, gross. I'm talking. This mod, the Atmosphere mod, has a couple of things that it adds on, too. So the blowouts are part of the default game. But... There's two other things that we have here. There's something called Follow, which is basically just... There's like a dust storm that's radioactive. And... Well, which is just what we just had. So if you're outside, you're going to get irradiated. And... There's also something called Psy Storms. Which are basically slight... They're slightly weaker blowouts that will just straight up fucking Your murder you. Your still intact? <clears throat> Let's check out this basement then. Alright. So I... Really quickly, so I might notice I'm running around here a little bit. Oh, hey, there we go. I got a stash of something, but... If you look up there, you see the gray dots? There's a lot of human corpses down here. Hello. Okay, that dude just straight up had an artifact. And... Look at the claw marks. Strange. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of dudes here who got killed. And there's a lot of gear here the that's going to be useful. Before didn't have those. Okay. I'm going to go do something really stupid. You actually can't reach these normally in the game. So... I'm going to shoot those so that they're reachable. The I don't think I need to here. explain Let's go. why that's a stupid fucking idea. But... Here we go. Let's go ahead. Let me, uh... Let me all know. This is an AK-74. I've been picking locks all my life. And what are... Tell me you're an anti... Ah, oh, fuck. You're okay. You're a max weight artifact. That could be useful. And what is this? This is... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just like a double barrel shotgun. Uh, there are some nice stuff in here. But again, I can't... I can't really sell it until... Yeah, until the game decides to stop screwing me around here. All right, and there we go. Finally, I'm no longer Please radiated. Please hold your applause. Now let's take a look inside. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. So this is where we have actually one of the most scary parts of the game. I'm sorry. What is that on the fucking? Oh, that's a an item. I was like, wait, did he drop a gun that I didn't pick up? Okay, so they're waking up. Run! What? What the fuck? Watch where you're shooting. Wait, I have never seen this before. What? Wait, okay. What's supposed to be in there is a hallway full of bloodsuckers. Okay, yeah, that's supposed to be a room full of bloodsuckers. Um, that's not supposed to happen. I've never seen them wake up before. Shit. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, that's a huge problem. Yeah, that that's never supposed... I've never, ever had them Attention wake up on stalkers. me. An emission will start any minute oh, wait, now. really? I'm all the way back here? Oh, come on, game, really? Oh, that's disappointing. Um... Okay. Fuck it, I'm gonna go on back down. Alright, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize how... how far back we were. I, I should have saved when I got down the hallway. Damn it. 
Yeah, I, I should have saved when we got down the elevator, because like if we had to redo a minute of this, oh, I'm sorry. So in order to do, I'll cut out here. Uh, I'll cut out until we get to... I'll cut out until we get, uh... Until we get there. Back, back to where we were. And then you guys can see how that's supposed to go. So be back in just a second. Okay, so we're back here. I'm going to just hope that I, like, I maybe accidentally ran too much or something. Because this is what it's supposed to be. It's full of sleeping bloodsuckers. Let's try to get by them without making any noise. Yeah, I've never actually seen that, and that's really interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go see if I can sneak through. So you might notice something. Do you see in the top left, there is a green bar. That bar is actually your detection indicator. All of these bloodsuckers know we're here. They can smell us, or see us, or somehow sense us. And yet, we're just, just barely sneaking on by. Because they're sleeping. That's how that's supposed to be, and that's one of those really tense moments of the game. Phew. They're not supposed they to aggro like that. Even disturb their nap time. Yeah, alright, there we go. So now I can go turn on my light. Now I can go look for anything else. Yeah, that's that's really weird. I don't know what happened this to that. This looks like an exit. John. Are, are you sure? Like, don't get me wrong. I, I understand the, you know, free-spirited nature of the stalkers and stuff, but... Yeah, they are, uh... Okay, so that guy's going that way. Let's actually head back here quick. Come to think of it, this is actually also not a bad spot to hide out if I need a play if I need cover from a blowout. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is no longer there there's normally some stuff there too. It's like anti-radiation actually. That's something else I kinda of forgot to talk about. You might notice that there's like these these drugs here and stuff. Yeah, what they are is they're actually like you can now take medications that make you more able to survive against stuff in the outside. So, like, there's pills that'll protect you from, you know, chemical protection, or from radiation, or this one here, it's Hercules, it actually gives you height, or uh, height, weight, stuff we like that. I didn't find the hunter, but I have an idea where he might be. Let me check it out, and I'll contact you. While I do that, let the stalkers know about these blood-sucking assholes. Something needs to be done about them. Alright, so there we go. I gotta go inform... I have to go inform uh, Beard about the sto about the bloodsucker lair. And over there is actually one of the stingrays. Is that stingray 5? Yeah. I'm not going to go investigate it yet for two reasons. One, getting through all that without a decent detector is hell on earth. And two, I kind of want to do a lot of the side stuff first. Sadly, this is going to be a hell of a hike back. So, let me see. How can I... Ooh, that's right. I will be able to hopefully... What the fuck? Why did I just... Are there a bunch of dead stalkers somewhere up here? I ju you guys just saw that line of dots appear on the sonar, right? Not sonar, the radar, the whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just saw a line of dots on there, and I was like, wait. What the hell's going on here? Oh, wait, I think I know... I hear gunfire. Hang on. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's the sawmill. Let's, uh... Actually... You know what? I know I said I was going to go check out this, but... Instead, I want to go do something else first. Over here, this area here, it's like an outdoor theater. If I recall right, there should be a stash here. If I can find it, that stash is going to be a fucking godsend this early in the game. Yeah, I think there is, so let, let's go ahead and let's go see. And don't worry too, the later we get into the game, the less likely it is that I'm going to remember a goddamn thing. No, my memory is obviously the worst with the, with the third zone in Pripyat, and then it's second worst with the second zone and all that. Alright. Fuck my life. I'm so sick of dealing with asshole dogs. Okay. Well, at the very least, I can I can reload while I sprint. That's a nice change. There we go. Take a little bit of dog meat here. Let's uh, let's see. Dog meat and a tail. More dog meat. And is it right here? Is that where it is? 
Ah, uh, shit. Maybe not. Maybe it's back further. Or maybe the mod did change that. Maybe this mod actually did make it so that maybe it got rid of some of the stashes. Or it made it so you have to find out about the stash for stuff to spawn. What it is, is it's basically... What you get is basically an M4 and a bunch of ammo for it. That's the item that's supposed to be there. I think this mod did make it so stashes aren't there, which uh, does kind of suck, I'll be honest. Alright, there we go. Yeah, let's go give that, and that'll actually help with my endurance as well. Okay. So. Okay, something else sees me. <clears throat> what is it? No, the problem... What? Is somebody shooting me? God damn it. If it's already got if some fucking asshole shitbird bandit gang decided, hey, let's go shoot the dude in the suit with a shotgun. I'm gonna fucking skin them. And then I'm going to feed their carcasses to bloodsuckers. Okay, where is this? What? I... God fucking damn it. Alright, hold on. There is... Hmm. Okay. I think of the stuff that's in the... I think the stuff that's in the actual stash might be bugged out. Okay. Well, let's go see what I can do about these fucks. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so they actually made the shotgun reasonably decent now. Yeah, they gave the shotgun, like, a reasonable amount of distance. Holy Christ. Okay. Yeah, that, that, okay, that was obviously going to be a shot in the dark, but... Holy shit, yeah. If I'm able to... Okay, there's three of these fucks down. Alright, I think that one up there might just be bugged. Because it, it should be there by now. Yeah, there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to see it. Okay. There's still one more guy, though. That makes me nervous. That makes me extremely nervous. There we go. More guns, more ammo. All the stuff that's going to be very, very useful once I figure out how to make the game let me sell it to Beard. Perfect. I know what'll happen. If it turns out I can't, I'll just go find a body. I'll just go, like, kill some dude, and I'll just quick run it all out. So that way it's not cluttering up my inventory. And if you take a look at the bottom right, you'll see above the 24, there's a little icon of a dude carrying an overly large satchel. Yeah, that's gonna be... that's an indicator that I'm overweight. However, I think what this game does... I think what it does, instead of baking it so when you're overweight you can't move, I think it just decreases your... Yeah, I think it just decreases, like, your stamina faster and faster? Oh, hello. I just realized, yeah, there's actually... There's two dudes here. Alright. Interesting. Let's see, are any of these guns... Yeah, I don't really care about any of these guns, to be honest. AK, oh, uh, well, uh, that's that's tempting. Hmm. I'll have to go ahead and see. Actually, come to think of it, I think, yeah, this is, I think this is an over-under sawed off. So maybe that'll actually... Hmm. I'll have to see. Given a choice of double barrel, I prefer over-under shotguns, but... Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah, and if you look there, like, that one second sprint just almost completely drained me. So I gotta be very, very careful about that moving out here. Okay. Well, let's go take a look at a couple of things here. Uh, you don't have a job for me. But, Hello. Beard, we have a whole bloodsucker lair underneath the antenna complex. The lair has to be wiped out. Well, let me think a second. Who the hell knows how many bloodsuckers there are in the tunnels? Maybe we could gas them. I remember Owl saying something about gas tanks. If you talk to him, if you're not because we're not on good terms, he might tell you about the gas tanks. If you get it connected to the antenna complex, Ven Sisman will all be over in a few minutes. Alright. Oh, and actually, yeah, that's right. So he can actually ask me for artifacts. The problem is, is that if you take too long, or the quicker that you get them, if you read through there, I just kind of skipped it, the quicker you get them, the more money you get. So yeah, he just wanted like a bubble artifact or something. So maybe if I get a bubble artifact and I have one on me, maybe he'll pay me 10000 But if I have to run up here or up here or something and get one and run back, maybe I'll only get like 8000 Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, let's see. 
Uh, I want to sell... You know what? Yeah, I'll just say fuck it. I'll keep what I have for now. Um, I'll sell the stuff that I can to you. And what are... You know what? I want to check something. He gives me 194 for the jacket. The I think Beard will actually give me more money for certain items. I want to see something. Okay, uh, yeah. He, but he won't even take certain items, so never mind. So. Trade. Let's sell you. And I'll just hang on to these two until I get the modding situation figured out. Got it. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put those two artifacts away, because right now they're just not worth carrying. So, put you away, you away. God, I am going to be fucking drowning in ammo, Jesus. Yeah, we're doing really well for gear. Uh, so actually, you know what? I think I can also sell the parts of the animals to Beard, I want to say? Maybe? Let me see. Yeah, okay, here we go. So at, at least this gives us a reason to check on the bodies. Okay, I, I can sell the food. Well, actually, you know what? I should probably just... Yeah, I should just go ahead and hang on to this. Okay. Yeah, I should hang on to this, because I think there is a group of scientists down the road who will sell it, who will buy it for even more. What was that? That was... Oh, that's actually energy drinks. I want to hang on to those. But I don't need a lot of this. Yeah, I don't need most of this other shit. Okay. God, it's actually really tempting to have... The drunken dude, well, he's useless right now. He can at least repair my gear. It's really tempting to have him go repair, like, this shotgun or something. You know what? Let's go see how much it'll cost. Howdy. Okay, Carden, buddy. What is it going to cost to have you repair this for me? 878. Shit. I mean, it's tempting. Ah, fuck it. You know what? I can make that back pretty easily down the road. So let's see, what is my mag- okay, my magazine is six. Oh, and this actually has ghost ring sights, nice. I like those. Alright. Well, you know what, we had that little snafu earlier. I want to go try to do one more thing quick. Let's, uh... Hey, stalker. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead. And I want to go try to get that gas can. So I talked about going down to here before. That's actually where that is. If I go to Owl, he's just gonna be an asshole and be like, it'll cost a thousand rubles or whatever. Owl's a fucking asshole. I kind of hate him. I'm never going to be nice to him. He's a complete prick and he's in league with the bandits. If you guys like bandits, you're perfectly welcome to go interact with him, but I have no intention to. However, I do know where that is. I know... I got very nervous for a second that these guys are gonna start shooting me. Hang on, do I see... Yeah, I was, yeah, was going to say, I see some, uh, I see some corpses around here. I'm listening. Yeah, and the uh, stalkers will actually raid the corpses. Ooh, hello. Okay. You might, yeah, no, look at that. That, uh, that AK is actually in decent condition. Hmm. I may go ahead and I may run I'll with that later. Home. But alright, so. Ooh, actually, I may not need to. I might get very, very lucky here in a second. Yeah, okay. So we're heading up to the bridge. And the bridge is going to have something on it that we really want for those, the quest involving the bloodsuckers. I almost called them skinwalkers because I was talking to a friend of mine earlier about skinwalker hunt. Okay. So. Let me save you. What? Alright. Ooh, actually. There might be something else in here too that I can use. Something else that just makes the investment I just made, the the money expense I just did, completely fucking stupid. Tell me that's not the case. Oh. Oh no, okay, so it's not. Alright, that's convenient. Yeah, uh, so that is a perfectly good AK-47. I really am happy with that, okay. And I have a decent amount of ammo. Beautiful, fucking beautiful. Uh, no, normally I think what's in that particular stash is I think it's a Spaz-12 shotgun. Which is a pretty fucking good shotgun. It's a very, very nice weapon. That's a little bit heavy, but it's semi-auto, eight-round capacity, and it's a pretty good, like, mutant hunting gun. 
Okay. So, here we go. On to the bridge. This bridge is gonna fucking suck. Because this bridge is full of anomalies. And I don't actually know the exact location of all of the anomalies just offhand. And there are some of them, like these, that you pretty much have to thread the needle between. Yep. Or, I actually- oh, fuck my life. Well, it just broke my legs. Yeah, I think- or there's actually- Yeah, right up there you can see it. I think there's a ladder that we can get on. And getting on the ladder is gonna make my life a lot easier as opposed to trying to thread the needle between them. Cause I don't- I'm kinda sick of dying. <laughs> and I don't really wanna sit here and just like die 20 or 30 times in a row for you guys. I feel like that's not going to be that entertaining of a video. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I could entirely be incorrect. People did seem to like the, uh, this stream we did involving alien isolation on Nightmare difficulty. So, this was actually an army convoy. And what's in here? Some documents, some internal orders about a chemical solution. Some orders regarding a chemical shipment. And we got ourselves a key. A regular key, designation, letter A. What we've done is we have found one of two keys that were given to the unit commanders of this, like, chemical warfare unit who were driving through here with more or less sarin gas. And what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go steal all the sarin and we're gonna go ahead and use it on those bastard bloodsuckers. And in the meantime, I am going to check every single inch of every one of these vehicles for stuff that I can steal. Because they've left quite a bit behind here. I think including... Yeah, there we go. There's actually an AK-74 in here as well. Which, uh, yeah, it's a slightly more modernized weapon. It's... Well, I, I want to see something. So it's more accurate. Yeah, I think it's more accurate. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just go ahead and I can just compare these. So... Let me see. Actually, you know what I should do? I should put that here. So this... Wow, this is actually a lot less accurate. Holy shit. Okay, but it does a lot more damage. And therein, right, therein lies the trade-off. And that's something I'm gonna have to just go ahead and do the math on. Oh, that's right, also, I kind of forgot. We have a, uh... This is our, our Makarov here, our sidearm, is actually like a specialist one. It's one that our character, Degtyarov, was actually gifted because he was such a good... I don't know if he was, if he was like, given it as an honor for doing a good job. I don't remember if there's some specific story for it, but yeah, Degtyarov here was gifted the pistol, and that's what he that's what he's actually using as a sidearm. I don't know if it does really anything different compared to a standard one. It might do like a hair more damage or something, but anyway, you might be wondering, Boundless, why didn't we check out the truck? And Boundless, why are we going down here? For two reasons. One, stash. Stash full of goodies. Oh, come on, game. And two, because there's an upside-down vehicle here. And in the vehicle... ...is the second order set, and it's the second key. That is going to be, I think, key B. So that's key A, that's key B, and this will allow us to go ahead and open up the container. And we'll be able to go get a container of sarin out of there. So, hopefully, if all goes according to plan, if I don't have a seizure climbing the ladder, we will be able to go over here, get the items, and then I'm gonna have to hurry on back, because I'm way overloaded. Kinda wish I would've kept some of that Hercules right now. But, oh well. Is what it is, I wasn't really thinking. I'll probably go ahead and I'll probably keep one or two doses of that with me most of the time until I can get some better stuff. Okay. So. Here we go. Let's take this. Oh, really? Okay, so they actually do have the two overloaded to move thing, huh? Uh, you know what? Let me really quick... Yeah, there we go. Wow, I, I have 0.1 kilos over. Or under, rather. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think if I have to fight anything, I'm gonna fucking die. Alright. Can I get over here? I just want to get down... Fuck my life. I just want to get down this ladder. 
without shattering my kneecaps, which apparently was too much to ask. And then I want to go over towards Beard. Because, yeah, this container of, like, sarin or whatever, it's ten fucking kilos. It's a lot of weight. It's a very, very big pain in the ass. But, man, okay, I actually quite like these extra stashes we're getting. Yeah, the AKs and stuff are going to be pretty good. I do think that... Yeah, I think at this rate, I might go ahead and, uh... I might end up not using my standard guns this round. Yeah, I might not use, like, an AS Val VSS mix. Especially if I can get my hands on some silencers for stuff, that's gonna be... Hmm, that's gonna be useful. Well, okay, that's a problem for the future, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Boundless. First things first... I have to decide which of these AKs I want to use. Yeah, I have shitloads of ammo for this one. But I know I found some more of these, so I'm, pr I'm probably fine for ammo, and either way I can get a whole bunch more. Yeah, and that's... Oh, what does that say? Oh, yeah, armor piercing, okay. And then here's 9mm, here's 9 bay 18 and I'm actually carrying way too much pistol ammo right now. If I find myself needing 414 pistol rounds, I've planned incorrectly. Or I'm carrying an SMG that shoots the bullets. So here, let me check something. Yeah, we're gonna make a real quick off trip to stop by the Skidovsk first. So... There we are. What about... Hang on, is that a dead body up there? Yeah, I see these I think these guys might have somebody dead next to them? No? Okay, it was just weirdness on the thing. Alright. Well, here. Let's go drink this. I'll, uh... I'll eat another piece of... I'll eat another whole, like, apparently half a baguette. Which got him trying to imagine being so hungry that you could eat, like, two entire baguettes. I mean, I'm a fat piece of shit, so I've eaten a lot of food, but goddamn. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I actually may end up doing, like, a assault rifle shotgun combo, and I might just keep the pistol with 50 rounds or something on me, just to have it. Hmm, okay. Well, here, let me go... Let me go on up. I'll go ahead and I'll stash all this stuff, and then we'll go drop off the gas. Okay. Beard, you probably don't have anything you want to say to me right now. You're just gonna be like, hey, you need to go do the thing. Okay, so, guns, 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 excess ammo, I'm gonna hang on to, I'm gonna hang on to the papers, you actually can sell them off, I think, uh, I think Owl buys them, I wanna say, he's the one who does, but, okay, 75 will have to be good enough, and then I don't need, I, I don't need 9 grenades either. Same story, if I find myself needing 9 grenades, I'm probably in a bad situation. And I really shouldn't be hanging out as it is. Yeah, and look, the stalkers go ahead and return. And yeah, the, these guys actually look a lot closer to what they should look like, unlike when we were playing Shadow of Chernobyl. Don't get me wrong, that was a really good mod, but it, it was a little bit weird to me to see... Yeah, to see all of this stuff that we... Couldn't, uh... I see all of this stuff that, like, wasn't how it was supposed to be. It was very, very odd. Okay. So, we're actually not doing too bad right now. Got a nice, uh, halo around the sun. Fuck. Okay. I still don't know what exactly was the deal. Yeah, why was there a fourth guy here? Wait a sec, that noise? Shit, 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 shit. That is pseudo dogs. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought there was a third one of you fucks. Got it. Beautiful, fucking beautiful. You know, actually, there's something else that's kind of cool about this, too. I think in, uh,. Yeah, I talked about, like, Stalker Misery and stuff, where you can go ahead, you can harvest the meat and all that. You can do that in there, but it also takes time. So if you're trying to go, like, if you kill five or six dogs, you know how to go harvest all the meat just to have something to sell to the trader? You'll actually have to sit there and, like, wear down a knife to do it. 
And again, don't get me wrong, that's how it would be, right? You can't just, like, look at a cow and suddenly have steak. It's the same principle. But, yeah, it's, uh... Very, very much a little a bit of a pain in the ass. Also, god, this looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. I'm really happy with this mod pack. I, I hope you guys are okay with the fact that we're playing these slightly modded. You know, I've been trying to make sure that all the mods that I do, they don't change a lot in terms of the story or anything. They really just kind of change gear and graphics. Just because that feels pretty pure to me. You know, that way we're still not changing anything fundamental to the game. Alright, so... Here is the ventilation system, and for some reason, it actually has a external access point that we can just feed a gas can to. So I had a quick adjustment chair there. And now, as soon as I turn this... Okay. We need to get the fuck out of here. And that's exactly why. Two bloodsuckers just left that lair. Two bloodsuckers are now hunting for whoever the hell is trying to gas their friends. They're not going to be able to stop it if this is at all like the normal version of the game. But... Did I just see some movement? Fuck. I'm trying to keep my eyes open. Um, but yeah, if, uh... If we're not careful, they will just end up, like, running and rushing you and killing you. And even with this slightly upgraded suit, I don't trust my ability to survive it. Alright, there we go. So, the lair has been destroyed. And if you're curious, you can stay and fight them. There's no reason not to. Except for the fact that it just wastes ammo. But there's... there is nothing in there that... That happens. You just end up killing a couple of bloodsuckers. It takes, you know, 20 to 30 seconds, and then while you're recovering and everything, the timer runs out. It's not like you're fighting wave after wave of them. It's not like bandits try to stop you or anything like that. It just happens. Alright, so let's hop out. I want to go see... I want to go see Beard. Or whatever the dude is. Whoever the hell... Oh, God. Oh, shit. I think I know where I am. Hang on. You know how I said that there was potentially some... Psychic? Or some, uh, dead bodies? Is that from this? I think it is, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here later. Because this is a... that's an anomaly pit, and it's full of some pretty nice goodies. However, it's also really goddamn hard to navigate, because it has a whole bunch of roaming anomalies, and it also has a whole bunch of basically acid pool anomalies. And, uh, it really fucking sucks. And I'm not going in there without a better detector, because the detector I currently have is more or less worthless. You know, don't get me wrong, it'll detect anomalies, or it'll detect uh, artifacts, and that's really all it's good for. But, I mean, it's like the equivalent of having, like, a single Come magnet on, and trying to find a screw. Or trying to find the one magnetic screw in a metal room. It's like, well, this is gonna take fucking forever. Alright. So. Beard. I'm listening. Lair is destroyed. Hello? Yeah, we wiped it out. And there we go. Oh, thank you, God. Alright. So. He just gave me an infinitely better detector. This here is called the Vela's Detector. What that does is that's actually going to detect exactly where the artifacts are. You guys might recognize this from the previous Stalker games. Weapon away, man. Yeah, sure thing, asshole. So and... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can actually... Yeah, we can sell him that. There's not really any other use for them. So I figured, why not? Don't let and he doesn't want any of these guns, right? Oh, okay. You know what? He'll take these. May as well. Yeah, and I'm already at 13k. Wait, shit. He no longer... Ah, fuck my life. I was hoping he was gonna... S actually, hang on. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, I was hoping he was going to be selling a scope. A scope for one of the AKs, because I'm gonna want a scoped AK for going up against the bandits. Or not the bandits, the mercenaries. 
Yeah, all right. Here, let me, uh... Let's try this quick. I'll actually get rid of that. I'll, I'll sell that later. And then what do you take? You take these? Uh, 180 should be good enough. Yeah, then here we go. I'll go ahead and I'll scope this out. And now I'm actually going to make a kind of stupid choice here. I'm going to see what he has for sale for scopes. I think he had... Yeah, he had that scope there, and then he has this, which isn't for any of the guns I'm going to use right now. Uh, let's try this scope. I want to see something. Various AK pattern rifles. Wait, can I... Hang on, can you put... Shit, he needs the better stuff. Also, it sounds like somebody's having a fucking riot out here, and I'm kind of curious what's going on. Can I get to the roof? I thought I was able to on this ship, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of another ship. Alright, uh, you know what? That really sucks, because I kind of feel like the game just lied to me, so... I'm going to be a little bit of a safe scumming asshole here. That's kind of shitty, though. It, it would have been nice... Well, actually... No, I guess technically the game did... The game would have would have told me if I could mount it, but... Yeah, he actually... Okay, see, this is... Yeah, dovetail mount. Which this... Yeah, that's... Okay, see? 1P29 scope. I don't know why I couldn't activate that. Because that's what I just bought. 1P29 scope. And how much is a PSO scope? Yeah, I, I'd actually really like to have... To have something like this, because this is like a partial. I don't understand why... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to test around a little bit, and I'll go see what kind of scope I want to put on my gun. In the next video, we're going to try to go clear out the, this camp here full of asshole mercenaries, and that's going to really suck. And then we might, if we have time, try to head down to the fueling station and take out the unreachable container. And then maybe we'll go kill ourselves some bandits, who knows. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you next time.